In this video, I'd like to talk about file types, templates, and settings. When you first open Solid Edge, one of the first things you'll see is the Open Recent area, where recent files that you have had open will be displayed. You can always get back to this area using the File menu, Open. In Solid Edge, this area to the left lists all of the existing templates. There are five different types of files that Solid Edge uses. The first one is the PAR extension, which stands for Part. Then we have the PSM extension, which stands for Part Sheet Metal. There's the ASM extension, which stands for Assembly, but it also covers weldments. And then we have Drawings. In Solid Edge, Drawings are called Draft and the extension for these is DFT. There is also another type of file that you may run in from time to time called CFG files. These are linked to Solid Edge assembly display configurations, which are like SolidWorks display states. You don't need these files unless you have already created Solid Edge assembly configurations. It's also worth noting that Solid Edge templates have the same extensions as the files they create, whereas SolidWorks has different extensions for the templates. So it's easy to create templates from existing documents that have all the correct settings. Let's talk about how you set up template directories. First, we'll go to Options, File Locations. Within File Locations, look for the User Templates area. By default, the Solid Edge default templates are stored at Program Files, Siemens, Solid Edge, Template. The User Templates entry is blank by default, but by using the Modify button, you can browse to a location to place your custom templates. It's considered best practice to put your templates somewhere other than your install directory. That way, when you reinstall Solid Edge, you won't lose your custom templates. The Solid Edge default templates are found in the directory C Program Files Siemens Solid Edge 2024 template. If we go into this directory, all of these folders are standards and you can create your own custom standard, such as I've done here, just by adding another folder. And within that folder, you can add some custom templates. These are in the same location as the default templates. Solid Edge doesn't know that a document is a template unless you have it saved to one of the directories that it has listed as template directories. Since templates and actual design documents have the same extensions in Solid Edge. To quickly access templates, go to the Quick Access Toolbar and use the drop-down next to the New icon. This has a list of all the default templates that you can just select very quickly. Or you can select any of the available templates by going to the New button rather than using the drop-down. From here, you can select from the user template, which were just added in the step above. Or you can go to the standard templates, which are from the directory inside the Solid Edge install directory. Each one of these standards folders has a set of templates that conform to that standard. So for example, ANSI, ISO, DIN, and others. To make a new draft template, open an existing drawing that has most of the settings that you want to use. On the View tab, go to the Background button, and you will see all of the available sheet sizes on tabs at the lower left-hand corner of the graphics area. You can edit the border for each sheet size. Should you require an E size or some custom size, you can right-click on a tab and insert another sheet. Set it up and draw or copy the border that you want. You can also delete sheets from these tabs if you want to get rid of these for a particular template. The settings for styles of various kinds are document specific. They travel with documents and templates and must be changed in the specific environment they affect. Other settings such as those found in Options, General, User Profile, file locations, control global settings for the local machine, and will or may look different when the same file is open on different computers. Just be aware that there is a difference between document-specific settings and settings for your local computer. 
When you've got the background set up to your liking, switch off the background, switch on the working, and you'll notice that the views that you've created are still there. If you're going to make a regular template, just select all of the views and delete them. Then you need to save this drawing to a template directory. Let's do that under File, Save As, and then we can browse to one of the directories. So let's go to C, Program Files, Siemens, Solid Edge 2024, and Templates. Solid Edge doesn't know that this is a template file until it's saved into a template folder. Let's save this into the new standard that I created earlier and give it a name. A quick sheet template is a draft template with empty views that are not linked to a model. This is like setting up predefined views in a SOLIDWORKS drawing template. To make a quick sheet template, start with a drawing with the views that you want to save. It is recommended you start this process with a copied drawing file. Make sure it has all the settings you want to use in your new template. Go to File, Settings, Create Quick Sheet Template. This will ask you to confirm because you can't undo this action although you can exit without saving and get back your previous drawing. Then save the quick sheet template to a template directory. Remember, a file is not a template until it's in a directory that Solid Edge understands as a template directory. To make use of the quick sheet, start a drawing from the save template and then drag a model onto the drawing from the library window and the views will automatically populate. To copy your move settings with Solid Edge closed, go to the Windows Start menu, Applications, Solid Edge 2024, Settings and Preferences Wizard. This will allow you to capture, deploy, or restore settings from or to Solid Edge installations on other computers. This wizard helps you copy settings from the registry, app data files, and the preferences folder, which are settings from the local machine, and template documents. Thanks for watching.